Colonauts, nurtured in the West, revered in the East, and a choice delicacy among the people of northern Nigeria. It is a fruit that has found a special place in the belief and custom of the various ethnic groups. At the top of the list of items during traditional or wedding fatiha, the colonauts exchange hands. So it is at cherished festivals. <laughs> Final rites and even the moments when the gods are to be appeased. The native colonauts is used for prayers. That makes it the most expensive, and for the customary, it is affordable. But those who found solace in eating it in the last four to five decades, like Lowell and Abubakar, it has become an addiction. And breakfast, dinner, or lunch without a crunch on a collar note goes with repercussions. If I don't eat it, I end up in tears and yawning. Its effect on the teeth is immeasurable, and even the toothless have improvised a means to savor its flavor. <laughs> the indigenous species comes fresh, but the most sought after is preserved for a year or less and could have scaled through borders to the markets in Nigeria. They used to bring it from Ghana to Kasombachi. We go there, Okano, Okao, we go there and buy it. Trading the precious caffeine-loaded fruit involves the micro, small and mighty investors. And at the end of the chain is a colonel hawker. Just like one of each species, which has so many parts, so the story of colonel, and also those involved in trading it, like Malalol Minister. His typical colonel hawking day begins in the early hours. He walks miles across the city center, with a tray held above the shoulders, displaying his wares. And in what you may pass for a trade that cannot take it straight at home, Lowell Minister's daily turnover remains one of the miracles of the colonel. I buy and sell at least 15 to 20,000 naira per day. The annals of history also have a special place for the precious commodity. And the custodian of that knowledge, like Professor Abdul Qadir, came handy in pointing out its significance in the Trans-Saharan trade and its prestigious place in the old kingdoms and empires. The Kulano trade started more than five centuries ago, that is over 500 years, from the middle of the 16th century. The Kulano stands the test of time. Some crave for it, others believe in its miracles. But the field of medicine has some reservations in its excessive consumption. That notwithstanding, the colonel remains a favorite chew for many like Lowell and Abubakar who found themselves in the chains of its flavor. In Kaduna, Abdullah Mohammed, NT News.